name is Anna and I'm an occupational therapist at the Fraser Valley Child Development Center. Today I'm going to answer some of the questions that came in during our Ask Us campaign. The first question is about toilet training. That's a big one. So, um, how do I know my child is ready for toilet training? And are there strategies on how to approach tra toilet training? Here we go. Toilet training is a big undertaking. There are many things that factor into it, including child age, child development, and culture. Every child and every family is different, and they're going to figure it out at their own pace. If you are going to start toilet training, there are several signs to watch for. Are they showing interest in the toilet or what you're doing in the bathroom? Is your child staying dry for long periods of time or during their naps? Are they asking to be changed or are they indicating that they're uncomfortable in their dirty diaper? Are they showing physical or verbal signs of needing to go? Are they doing the potty dance? Are they grunting, hiding, or telling you? If you are ready to, to go for it and you're going to undertake it, um, here's some tips and tricks to get you started. Uh, first, start talking about toileting. This is kind of the first intro step. Talk about it. Use potty books and potty videos. There are tons out there. Talk about when you need to go and how you feel when you need to go. Uh, role model what going to the bathroom looks like. Uh, number two, uh, make sure that you have a comfortable setup for your child. A step stool and a reducer ring are a great place to start. Um, and then keep the atmosphere calm and relaxed. No pressure. If kids are stressed or not positioned properly, it's hard for them to relax those muscle muscles for going to the bathroom. And then start building it into your routine. Both the toileting routine itself, you know, um, pants down, sit on the potty, go to the bathroom, wipe, pull up your pants, wash your hands, etc. But also going to the bathroom itself. Build it into your daily routine. If you think about it, we all have a schedule. When you first wake up in the morning, before you go to bed, 20 minutes after that cup of coffee. Um, and then also wait till things are calm at home. Big life changes like moving or a brand new sibling can make toilet training very challenging. When you are toilet training, essentially what you're teaching a child is the uh, ability to sense a full bladder or a full bowel. These sensations can be challenging for kids to recognize because it's an internal sensation and sometimes it needs to be taught. For kids with sensory challenges, like kids on the autism spectrum, this can be particularly challenging. That's where the routine part comes in. So good luck! And if you have any more questions or concerns, please contact us at the Fraser Valley Child Development Center. Uh, the information is below.